If I could do a picture, let's do a picture of myself right now. And then hit use photo and hit print now. Obviously it's not a color printer, but this is actually pretty cool. Just like that. Hey guys, welcome back to an all new Upswell Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at laser printers. Now, laser printers are essentially the next big thing, allowing you to go ahead and print numerous of papers without having to worry about ink. But the question is, which is a good laser printer for you? There's a lot of different variations from hundreds of dollars to thousands of dollars. And the good folks over at Pantom have sent us one of the best bang for the buck printers, the 6702DW. Now, this particular printer has the capability to automatically print on double sided and in combination with the 32 ppm is both efficient and high quality. Not only that, you can even connect to it via wireless via your app and just print on the go as you need to. Now, in this episode here, we'll be unboxing it, trying it out and seeing exactly what it can do. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Welcome back to an all new episode of Conflict City. We'll be looking at a laser printer. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably in the market for one and you probably stumbled upon this. So I'm gonna go ahead and introduce the all new Pantom, the M6702DW. It is an all-in-one exclusive laser printer that features a budget of a price, which is the most important thing, as well as a variety of features, including a built-in scanner automatic duplex printing so you can go ahead and print on double side to save 50 percent of the paper of course and as well as a 32 ppm speed printing now it features a usb connectivity net connectivity and wi-fi connectivity so you can connect to it via directly usb so you can plug and play you can connect to it via ethernet port as well as wirelessly with an app so literally with a click of a button you can go ahead and start printing without any problem now in this episode you'll be unboxing it trying it out and see exactly what it's all about so if you guys wanted your own check out the link down below in the description and without further ado let's go ahead and get started so besides the printer this here's everything that you get so you get a quick setup guide uh, kind of showcasing how to go ahead and set this up uh, a CD for your driver so you can connect to this to your computer uh, this here's a user guide for mobile printing and then you get your USB cable to connect to it via directly to a computer and then you, of course you get your power cable so there is three steps to setting this up so first off this here is our printer now uh, it's got a very nice elegant look it's relatively not that large in size um, you do have a screen right here showcasing a variety of different features. So you do have some toggle modes, an OK button, start button, cancel button, uh, receipt, ID copy, copy, Wi-Fi, and scan button. Now on the top here is our scanner right there. Uh, this will lift up just like this. So you can go ahead and reach into there and grab the paper if you need to. That will close off too. Uh, you do have a little latch here. And then this here is going to be our drum. Let's go ahead and set this up. So step one is to open front latch, which is this right here. And then step two is to remove this. All right, so we went ahead and prepped our toner. Uh, after preparation, we wanna go ahead and reinsert it. And then we can close this off, add our paper, and we'll be ready to use this thing. Okay, so you can adjust the size of the paper. So in this case here, we're doing A4. Uh, you can also change it to LGL as well as LTR. Get insert it into our printer. And it might pop out a little bit from the back, which it just kind of did, but that's completely normal. All right, so we're all set. So let's go ahead and plug this thing next and see what happens. The power button's right here in the front, press that. 
our screen will boot up. So it has three different copy features, which includes a regular copy, which just kind of scans the document. Then it's got an ID copy, which you can go and copy an ID. And then it's got a receipt copy as well. So it's obviously designed more for the office base as well as home, but it's kind of a nice function to have too. Now this here is gonna be our menu settings. So you can go through the variety of different settings in terms of like version info, info reports, online upgrade, network info, network settings, tray setup, system settings, um, and then just a variety of different features. Uh, you have a scan button right over here. So you just press this, it'll go automatically scan it. Um, you can single scan a page. Uh, you can do merge scan. Uh, so you can go ahead and print out like a booklet too. This is a great function to go ahead and use for that particular reason. Uh, you have your start button, you have your cancel, you have your Wi-Fi print, so this will connect to the Wi-Fi. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and try out the copying feature. So the way it works is quite simple. You just take something that you want to copy, so like this, place it up here and then close the lid and then we'll just hit copy and then hit start. There we are, just like that, we made a copy of our document. Now, what we could also technically do is print it from a specific paper that we want in here. So if I want to print it on this, all I gotta do is go ahead and insert the paper like that and then hit copy and hit start. There we go. So there you have it. So we printed it on this paper instead of printing it from the drum. All right, so that kind of gives you an idea how the printer aspect works in terms of scanning. So now we're gonna go ahead and open up the app. So it's a scan QR to connect to printer. So press Wi-Fi on the printer, which is this button right here and it's printing something, which I'm assuming is a QR code. Haha, <laughs> sweet. So it printed out our QR code, so I'm scan that. And we're all set. So this here is our main hub. So this is kind of nice. You can print a variety of different things. So I can you know, like do a document, a uh, PowerPoint, a picture. So I can do a picture. Let's do a picture of myself right now. And then hit use photo and hit print now. Obviously it's not a color printer, but this is actually pretty cool. Just like that. So quickly I was able to print that out. How cool is that? <laughs> Sweet. And the quality of it is actually pretty good. Uh, you can actually see that it's got a good amount of detail to it and the speed of it is real, relatively quick. I can hit scan. I can scan an item on here too. So that's great. So for instance, if I wanted to scan this picture, um, I can put that in here like this and hit scan. Scan now. So it's connecting. Okay, and this will wirelessly send it to my phone. There we are. <laughs> Sweet. So <laughs> that's so cool. So you can, you know, use it for a variety of different things. Um, and that's actually really nice. And you have an iCloud disk too. So I just clicked on an invitation card from one of my documents. There you go. So pretty good quality, not too bad. Um, and it kind of gives you an idea what that's about. Obviously, you know, the potential is there. It's a printer. Um, and there's a lot of different settings and different modes that you can mess around with. So. Yeah, there you guys have it. Now, obviously I would recommend this if you're looking for a nice printer that can essentially do all of it. Uh, just the fact that you have the capability to connect to it via wirelessly, USB, you have the scanner, uh, and it's got a very quick printer setting and it's actually a very simplistic design. Now, another important thing to note is that this particular printer has an automatic double-sided printing system, allowing you to go ahead and combine it with the machine's 32 PPM. This will go ahead and greatly improve printing efficiency. So there you guys have it. Now, if you guys had any questions about it, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.